Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases We are gonna chat about the new makeup that's been released and a sneak peek And I'm gonna let you know whether or not I want to pick it up Whether or not I already did and then you let me know down in the comments if you're interested in any of these things And it is okay to disagree friends do not always agree with each other But friends are always kind and respectful towards each other and yes, my voice is still not 100% since Vegas and it could be because I keep filming and my voice is like, please, I'm begging of you, take a little break. I did film this look. I filmed it for like a little reel. I actually, I got in my Glam Light order. I bought this myself at the Glam Light um, Black Friday sale. This is the red palette from the Nightmare on Elm Street and I love it. I think it is gorgeous and I will put this up as a tutorial wherever as soon as i have it this week has been really crazy with uploads i got in some things that i didn't necessarily think we're gonna i don't know what i was thinking my planning has been all over the place but there's been a lot of videos this week and there's going to be a video tomorrow as well per usual i am doing my daily giveaway it's going to be in the pinned comment down below if you do not see it in the pinned comment you just need to uh, refresh this the page and it's going to be there because i put it in after the video has gone live i'm just very excited to be giving back i'm giving back uh, mystery boxes every day of the first 12 days of christmas one giveaway per day uh, the form is going to be down below make sure to read the instructions before you enter but i am just super super excited i've already been able to get in touch with the, uh, the first winners um of the giveaway and i'm gonna be sending out some boxes i'll probably be sending out like the first week first like six boxes and then i'll send out the other six boxes i just need to get through this one thing let me scooch to the side let me scoochie scoochie and we can talk about the thing that i need to survive so clearly the thing that I need to survive is my own launch. Cinch Beauty is launching another thing. Second collection is happening today. It's happening today, noon central time. We are doing our second collection with Cinch Beauty. This is going to be seven face brushes, two new eye brushes, a sponge and a powder and makeup poof. I'm super excited about these things. I've worked so hard on them. I am so excited about Every aspect about these, I've been able to create these from scratch and I'm just so proud of them. The quality, I've been using them to death and I'm so excited to finally be talking about them. So these are releasing today at the Singe Beauty website. Right now, the Singe Beauty website is closed down until noon. So if you get there and you see that the website has a password, it only means that you're a smidge early and we're going to open up the website at noon and hopefully everything will just be super smooth. I'm now shipping from a warehouse. I've been having a million meetings with them. So hopefully everything is going to go super smooth. But I'm just so grateful and so thankful and just excited. Excited about seeing my own little brand just, I don't know, grow and just do more things and i have so many fun things planned for the future. You have no idea, but things take so much time. I mean, this have taken me a really long time to fix, but I'm just super excited. And yes, the restock for the original five brushes, um, the eye brushes, and I'm gonna be able to sell those as singles as well as soon as they restock. That is happening in the beginning of the new year. They are currently en route coming here, but shipping is really slow during Christmas times. So it's gonna get here eventually. Don't worry about that. They were not limited edition. They are definitely coming back. But right now we're launching these and I could not be more excited. I will of course link my website down below. I will of course link my launch video down below in case you want to see everything, in case you missed the video. I'm just so excited. And remember, you never need to purchase anything to support anyone. Just you being here watching the video is definitely enough. If you don't feel like this is for you, don't feel pushed or forced that you need to be purchasing. I mean, I do think that this is a great quality product. So if you were looking for brushes, I don't think you'd be disappointed with these. I absolutely myself love them and I am a very picky person, but maybe you're just following Singe on Instagram, liking the pictures, that's also support. Let's talk about the collection that I did a bonus video with yesterday, which is the Glamlight and Garfield collection. We now have like the full collection here so we could talk about it, because last time I filmed one of these, I wasn't able to see what the collection was exactly about. I really like this collection. If you've seen the video yesterday, if you're not, I do recommend you to go and look at it. It is very well done. The packaging is beautiful. It really does capture the essence of Garfield. I love Garfield. I grew up with Garfield. I think the face palette is beautiful. I love the color story of the palette. I loved the makeup look that I did. The mirror is probably the prettiest mirror that 
they've ever done glam light if i'm gonna be honest the lip scrub and lip balm set is donut and coffee scented what's not to love the makeup bag is beautiful there's an eye mask in here i honestly just think that this is a very well-made collection i will say though with that being said this is a beautiful collection. You can still use my code in Jessica and get 15% off a of glam light. This one is available. And like I said, I will link my video down below. I have swatches. I have a look. I have thoughts. Even though I love glam light, and even though I will say, yes, the things that they come up with is great quality, they've already announced their next thing. And it is another collab, and they're doing a collab with Kiss, like the rock band. Um, I, I, um, okay, this is me. I'm speculating. I think that Glamlight got so much hype with some of the collections they did, especially the Chucky collection, that uh, they were approached by a lot of franchising companies that were like, hey, do our collab, do our collab, do our brand, do our thing. And I think Glamlight got caught up in all of it and said yes to too much. And now they have ended up with just having to release back to back to back things because they signed maybe one too many contracts uh, because this is intense. This is too much. And I say this as someone, I mean, who's doing YouTube and I see what the views and I see what the comments and I see what people are interested in. My Glamlight videos, they don't really get any views anymore. And I say this with love because I love Glamlight. I mean, yes, they're coming out with a lot of stuff, but at least it's good quality. But my Glamlight videos, they don't get any views on YouTube anymore. I can only imagine that that's because people are just, it's too much. They can't be that excited about things because they're like well if i don't like this one there'll always be a new one in like a week or two so i really really hope that there will be less like they need they need a break we all need a break we all need some kind of a spa session after the absolute barrage of releases that glam has thrown in our direction during 2023 and I, as, again, I love Glamlight. I love their quality and what they release is good, but this is too much. This is too much. I don't, I don't know what to do. This one though says that it's releasing winter 2024. So I'm, I'm guessing first two weeks of January. This is my somewhat qualified guess. Another thing that has released is the Gourmand Girls uh, Silent Night Palette. I think this palette looks really cute. I actually met Christina. We both live here in Austin, so we've gone shopping together, which has been amazing. And she showed me a picture of this palette before it was announced, and I gasped because I love the mix between the yellow and the blue. Maybe it's because I'm Swedish. Who knows? Maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's Swedish. I love the color story, and I love that she was able to do a new twist on something like blue a neutral palette with blues she was able to take it into something else and i really do appreciate the color story and i really do like the quality of gourmand girls i uh, have this palette i showed you in my haul that i had yesterday wait was my garfield video was not yeah i had it yesterday so the day before yesterday you, wow time time has lost all meaning but i really do enjoy gourmand girls and i want to try this palette and i'm thinking i'm gonna include this one because i'm doing a full face of new makeup because i have a new foundation a new concealer a new blush a new highlighter and maybe this palette i'm thinking um, that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking so i'm excited to be trying this one out because i'm sure i'm gonna like it and I really want to play on that mix between the yellow and the blue. I think it's going to be great. Another one of my favorite indie brands, which is Bella Beauté Bar. They are re-releasing the Angles of Illumination. And they're releasing it as a bigger palette. And this is basically uh, 15 unique duochrome shimmer shades. One multi-chrome. These are magnetic removable pants. So if you wanted to get some duo chromes and a multi-chrome to your singles collection you can buy them here as a bundle deal and you can remove them yourself from the palette this one is launching on december 15th it is going to be 69 usd dollars which again if they're magnet you pay extra for magnetic palettes i hope everyone knows that i never remove my singles from palettes ever <laughs> But you do pay extra for that. That costs extra in production. And also, since they're all like more special shades, I don't, I'm not surprised by the price. You can get 10% off with my code if you wanted to purchase. I do love the Bella Beauté Bar formula. I think they make amazing eyeshadows. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I think this is heading my way. I'm not sure if I'll able to do something here on YouTube. But I'll at least do something on Instagram. So keep your eye open. NYX is releasing even more things as well. I'm actually wearing the new um, 
fat oil slick click i didn't like the fat oil the liquid ones this one wonderful wonderful absolutely love it and they're releasing some more things they're releasing the marshmallow that used to be a primer they're releasing it as a setting spray they're releasing new lip pencils in their loud lip pencils and they're also releasing like a a contour not a contour but it's like a concealer and also corrector stick and it's called the pro fix stick i don't know if i'm ready for a concealer and a stick um it's giving flashback from 1990s that i don't know if i need to relive i think i'm good i think i'm good um and also like these sticks are amazing for spot concealing which is something I don't do. I only do concealer under my eyes and as brightening. So for me, I think this is going to be too heavy. I think I'm going to opt out, but kudos to NYX for trying to bring back stick concealers. M my millennial ass is not ready for that. My kitty is here and she is miserable. Why are we making all these noises? She's like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're not doing any of that. I only cuddle when I say yes. <laughs> you don't get to decide. I don't think I've ever bought anything or owned anything from CoverGirl, but CoverGirl is coming out with something that I really want to purchase. I can see the cat hair just flying in the air. That was my kitty Semla, by the way. This is the um, Outlast Lip Stain. Yes. It is a precise pen-like tip, transfer-proof, kiss-proof, Satin stained finish, buildable color, $8.95 each, and there is an orange. I mean, that's all I needed to know. How about you? I think I will be purchasing this one. The only thing that makes me a little worried is that it says satin stained finish. I'm wondering how that's going to feel. But listen, I will tell you because I'm going to be purchasing this one. Sounds amazing. Sign me up. The second thing that I'm really excited about is the Rabanne Beauty. And this used to be Paco Rabanne, but uh, he unfortunately passed away. So it is now Rabanne when they released the beauty. They are doing a Love Rouge lip balm. These are $28 each. I had no idea that Rabanne Beauty can be found at some Ulta's in store. I need to go and see if it's available in my Ulta in store. That taupey one in the corner looks amazing. Tinted with a glowy finish. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. That lilac one would make me look dead. Hard pass. But that brown one, it's still going to make me look dead, but like at least like it, 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 not a lilac one. I'm, I'm contradicting myself. I don't need you to tell me. I'm aware. I know. I know. Speaking of lip products, Too Faced is coming out with the Kissing Jelly Glosses. It is a lip tint gloss hybrid that is supposed to hydrate, give a hint of tint, and be non-sticky. When they say a hybrid, I'm thinking it's probably going to be like the Liquid NYX um, lip oil, gloss oil, what were they called? Fat oils, which I didn't like. They also felt more like a lip gloss. I want my lip oil to feel like a lip oil. I want them to be either a balm or an oil. I feel like I'm over gloss, unless it's one of those more, well, balmy glosses. I, I just, I don't want the sticky, I don't want the thick glosses. And also like the swatches here just look a little, they look a little Lancome Juicy Tubes 2002. Yes, no, yes. I'm gonna go with yes. So they're gonna be $22 each. I don't think this is for me. I don't think I'm gonna be getting this, but hey, maybe this is right up your alley i'm i'm gonna go with no i'm guessing stains is the new thing because we're seeing a lot of stains and usually when something reaches the drugstore it's usually the last destination and i don't mean that as like they're the least valuable one but they're usually the part of the beauty community that jumps on a trend last it's usually in the order of indie beauty or asian beauty that's the two venues either indie or asian and then it goes to like more expensive high-end brands like i'm thinking like sephora brands and then usually it ends up at drugstore brands and now we're having a lip tint um a matte lip stain i should say from milani these are 30.99 each and i immediately say no based on the colors they're all very berry reddish colors 
it's not my journey. It's not what I want personally in the stain. I want something that's a little warmer. I don't want something that's very red. I appreciate that they're coming to the drugstore, but I think I'm gonna stay with... I'm, I'm gonna try the one from CoverGirl instead. I like those colors more. But another thing that Milani has released that I am very intrigued by are the Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzers. Four different shades. It is a buildable soft matte finish, and I'm just like... I like the colors of these, and I think that second shade is probably going to be good for me. So yeah, I, I, I am excited about this. This is available at Ulta now. I feel like I need to go to Ulta. I cannot be the only one that's feeling that. We're all feeling in the air, right? And you need to go to Ulta? We're all agreeing on this. I'll let my husband know. LH Cosmetics is coming out with another quad, and this is called Siren Song. And it's gonna be $46, and uh, usually with these quads, they're special shades. I know she had one that's called Shimmer Saga, uh, and it was like four very sparkly, uh, shifty topper shades, and it seems like these are the same, but just new shades. I know in this picture here, they don't look like much, but they usually are really, really good quality. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing this mainly because I have so many special shades and I don't like all shimmer palettes. But I prefer an all shimmer quad over a full shimmer palette myself because I'm more likely to reach for a quad for a shimmer than to reach for a full palette. But I think a lot of people will really like this. I think I am personally skipping. Oh, I found another thing from Too Faced here. They're also releasing another one of their Better Than Sex mascaras. I know. They're beating this horse into, into the ground. This is naturally Better Than Sex. Volumize, lengthen, curl, and condition with the mascara that delivers 100% sexy lashes with 98% naturally derived formula. When are we giving up on this? Like, arsenic is natural. Uranium. I'm just gonna leave it at that. There are also some new highlighters from Makeup Revolution. This is the Beam Bright Highlighter. This says it is a glass skin glow. That sounds interesting. Glass skin glow? Hmm. I do like a highlighter that makes it look like glass skin. I don't want skincare or foundation that does that because it usually leaves my skin a little greasy. These are 8 8 each. They are available at Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution mailed me and said that my code and Jessica will be available at Makeup Revolution US. I don't know if that's if there's any conditions or like what's going on, but if you're shopping from the site, you can always try it and see if you can get some money off. I might buy this and see if it's good. Maybe I'll love it as much as I love that new highlighter from Moira because that one is nice. Like, really nice. Glossier is releasing a new lipstick and this is the Best Generation G Yet. It was so many hard words to say. This is a buildable lip color with a fragrance-free formula. Glides on smooth for that just blotted look without the blot. So it is a matte sheer balm. Sheer matte lipstick. Mm, no. No. Sheer matte lipstick? No. I have to think. I'm like, do I like it? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want that. Let's talk about a couple of fragrances. I've... There's a couple of really nice fragrances that have released. I got the Kayali Sparkling Liché. I got that in the mail. SPR, I talked about that in yesterday's video. Fleur has also released their fragrance that's called Mood Ring. I actually did order this one from Sephora. I bought the small one. This is a fruity floral. I usually don't like florals, but I do love fruity perfumes. And since the key notes is fruit gummies, I'm thinking I need to see. I need to see for myself. The promo picture is so cute. I needed to try this and see for myself. Another fragrance that is now finally available at Sephora, and again, I did buy this one from Sephora myself. This is the From the Garden scent from Maison Mergiella's Replica Fragrances. This is an earthy green herby perfume, and I... The way that I am excited about this one, this has tomato leaf, green mandarin, and patchouli. Tomato leaves smell, to me, 
like heaven. Heaven. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I wore the When the Rain Stops from Replica when I was shopping with a friend and she was so impressed. Oh, it was actually uh, Christina from Gourmand Girls that I think I sold her on the perfume. Beautiful. And I am so excited about this one. I'm so... Tomato leaves does not smell like tomatoes, by the way. And I'm just... I, I'm so excited. I cannot cannot wait. There's another big fragrance launch that is also happening that I myself don't think I will be purchasing and it's mainly because it's from Clean and I have a sneaking suspicion that all of these are going to be pretty florally because that's what they're showing here but basically they are releasing a AH2O pal um, different fragrances and it seems to be like water I don't think the tones are water. I think the perfume is water-based. That's what I got from reading it from Clean uh, themselves. It says it is a water-based formula. I don't know what that means. I want to smell them though. One of them is called one of them is called Waterfall, and it is a fresh citrus fruity perfume with aquatic accords, which on paper sounds like something I would like but I need to smell it. And I also think for me, clean fragrances are usually very, they're a whiff. And I want something that has a little bit more punch to it. Uh, but if you are looking for a not over the top perfume, literally the whole clean, the, their whole range will be for you. But that's also the reason why the whole range is not for me. <laughs> That's basically the main reason, but I thought it was interesting and I thought it was interesting that we're coming out with six new fragrances because that is a lot. Another thing that is coming out, and this is from Glow Recipe, something bright and super charged is coming soon to be revealed tomorrow. What you see here in the background are cloudberries. Cloudberries are a very finicky berry because you cannot artificially grow them. Uh, you have to find them in nature and they grow on the most weird places. They grow in where I'm from, Scandinavia, because they, gr they grow in colder climates uh, and they grow in marshlands. So you have to find wetlands or like marshlands in the colder climate. Your spots are limited. <laughs> Your spots are limited. They are full of really good things. A lot of Scandinavian skincare has cloudberries in them and also they taste the divine divine but they are very expensive you can buy a jar of cloudberry jam in the stores but they're usually like 15 dollars <laughs> which is expensive and in swedish grocery store i should say i mean honestly the way that the grocery stores are going here in the u.s some of you are probably like what a steal <laughs> so affordable but literally cloudberry jam warmed up over ice cream <sighs> This was me wishing I had that right now. So good. Okay. Anyways, I am excited about this. And I will say I do get PR from Glow Recipe. So I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to show up. But I am excited to see that brands outside of Scandinavian countries are realizing that cloudberries, they're really good in skincare and in desserts and in cookies and on pancakes. <laughs> I'm excited about this as well. I can't really see much from this picture here, but this is from Game Beauty and they are releasing a falsies collection and they're releasing a um, glue. <laughs> How could I not remember that? And it is a latex free glue, which is good if you are sensitive towards latex like I am. I also wanted to let you know, cause I, ugh, I got a question. I might let you know here, mine is so dirty. My sponge with Singe, it's latex free because again, I have latex sensitivity. So I don't want that in my sponges and I don't want it in my um, lash glue. So I'm excited about that. And when I zoom in, some of these seem really interesting. So I am intrigued to be trying these out and they seem to be not as intense lashes, which I think a lot of people will really enjoy. So I am keeping my eye open for this one. I think it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to try it. Oh, there's another concealer from the drugstore. This is from L'Oreal. This is the True Match Radiant Serum concealer. Um, when it says radiant finish, sometimes that means a little shimmer in it, which honestly can be really good under the eyes. It can really help to brighten. 
but it also sometimes means that it's just very dewy and greasy and thick. So I am intrigued to see what this is. Is it thick and goopy? Because I don't want that. I know some people, if they have a dry under eyes, they're like, oh, this is the best for dry under eyes. I just think it looks heavy and I don't like it. Available now for a pre-order. I will link it down below. Should I try it and let you know which one it is? I could take one for the team. Okay, I want to talk about one last thing before we exit this video and I let my voice breathe like for a little bit. And that is that Pantone has announced the color of the year for 2024. This isn't makeup news, but I will say there are a couple of areas where the Pantone color of the year usually has an effect. And the beauty community is one of them. And this year, the color of the year is peach fuzz. And I already think, and I've talked about that, that I think it is the end of cool tone makeup. Not the end, but like we're, we're starting to get rid of it and we're moving into other things. And I think that this probably is, we're getting into so many warmer things. Gray interior design is out. Pink, like cool tone pink blush is going to be out. And I think that the color of the year as peach fuzz really represents that we are truly back into loving warm interior design. And I think that peach blush color Probably, I'm saying it now, this can be my prediction, peach blush color is going to come back hard on social media in 2024. And I think that this is definitely going to help. But okay, that was it for this week's new makeup releases. Ooh, I'm just trying to move back. Please let me know your thoughts about these releases. I am sorry if this episode is not as long as like it usually is, but like my voice is killing me and I actually need to film more things today. Things are going crazy. And again, thank you so much for all the kind words and all the support that's been going on this week. Now I've been able to truly show you why I've been so incredibly busy as of late because I just bought a house. I'm having a collection with Singe that's literally launching today. And it's been a lot of fun things, but it doesn't mean that it's not time consuming. But I hope you're having an amazing weekend, getting some rest. I know that I will. This is the weekend that I'm not going to be filming. I'm just going to be editing a smidge and I'm going to be sleeping in a little bit. And I will see you. I will see you tomorrow though for a video. It's already pre-filmed. It's already up on my channel. It is a collab with a dear friend of mine and I cannot wait to show you. So I will see you tomorrow in a new video. Bye.